chapter four. is called the study of chemical reactions. In this chapter, we're going to really begin our understanding of synthesis of molecules, which is really the focus of what we do this year, just learning how to make things. And so this is the chapter where we're going to really lay the, the foundation for understanding synthesis. And the first two sections of the chapter, 4.1 and 4.2, we're going to do them together. They are an introduction just to the whole idea of looking at chemical reactions in an entirely different way than we looked at them in general chemistry. And we're also going to take what we learned from the introduction and apply it to one particular reaction, which is the chlorination of methane. We're going to focus a lot on understanding this chlorination reaction, the data that comes out of it, and how we use the data from the chlorination reaction to go backwards and get a really solid understanding for the whole entire chlorination process. In this chapter, especially in this section, what we are really studying is the mechanism of the reaction. Now in general chemistry when we studied chemical reactions we studied things like how to balance an equation, how to write an equation, to some extent how to predict the products of really simple reactions uh, when we did the precipitation reactions for example and we learned things like stoichiometry, how to predict how much product we make, how to predict how much reactant we need to get a certain quantity of product, how to calculate theoretical yield, all of the all of the work that we did on understanding reactions in general chemistry was uh, pretty superficial. We weren't really looking at how the atoms came together and interacted with each other or how the molecules came together and interacted with each other. In organic chemistry, we do focus more in detail on how the molecules are interacting. The mechanism is a description of how the molecules get exactly from the reactant to the product. It is the, the very detailed pathway from the reactant to product. It shows in the mechanism every single step in the reaction. It's not just something simple as saying you take A and you mix it with B and you end up getting C. The reaction mechanism explains every single step in the pathway from combining A and B and ending up with product C. The mechanism shows every bond that's broken. And it shows every bond that's formed. Nothing gets left out. Every single detail is present. The reaction that we're going to study closely and help us understand reaction mechanisms is the chlorination of methane. It's a pretty simple reaction. And in general, to begin with, you take a methane molecule and you react it with chlorine gas, Cl2. This reaction was observed, before it was really understood, it was observed that this reaction would proceed if it was subjected to a little bit of heat or if it was subjected to light. Now we're going to use the notation H nu to symbolize light. That was notation that we used here at Skagit uh, for Gen Chem as well. If you're not familiar with using that notation H nu for light, it just comes from this equation E equals H nu, uh, where H nu gives us energy of a photon of light. And H nu just takes up less space than light, so that's why we use it. 
And so when you would mix methane gas with chlorine gas in the presence of either heat or light, you would end up with a monochlorinated product, CH3Cl chloromethane, and you'd also get a lit, little bit of HCl gas. The chloromethane product was also capable of reacting with chlorine, Cl2, in the presence of light or heat. I'm just going to write light to save space. And that would also give us a chlorinated product, this time dichloromethane, CH2Cl2, and again some HCl. The dichloromethane could also react with chlorine gas and heat or light to give us CHCl3, trichloromethane, with HCl. And the trichloromethane could react with chlorine gas and heat or light to give us CCl4 plus HCl.